guys, it's Paul here. I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to troubleshoot which plugins causing problems with your WordPress blog. So if you go to your website and for some reason you click on something um, and something's not looking right, I want you to show you how to quickly find what plugin's doing it. So I'm gonna log into my Paul website. Here. I'm going to purposely break my site. Uh, not their plugins, right? I'm gonna go to plugins editor. I'm gonna go Facebook. So the Facebook comment plugin, I'm gonna break, right? I'm just gonna take this question mark out. I've already backed my site up. Don't do this at home or on your website. So now, when I go to my site. Everything's going to look fine on the front page because there's no comments on that. But if I click here, now all of a sudden my my page has gone whappy. My load, the Facebook comments isn't showing, but the whole header image has gone crazy. So it wasn't showing like that before. Hey guys, right? So I'm going to go and work out which plugin is doing it. So first of all, I'm going to go to installed plugins. Now I don't have many. Now I have two out of date ones that need updating. Uh, they're not updating for some reason at the moment. So what you can do is turn everything off. So deactivate everything. My WordPress engine is going to say, do you want to update? So I turn everything off. I go to my site. I go back to a post. And now it's looking fine again. It's doing what it should be doing, right? So something that i've turned off has fixed it so there's a plugin error right now if i go so i've got what one two three four five six seven eight nine so what i would do is i turn the first five back on and leave these five off now sometimes just turning them on and off fixes your site so i'm going to activate these first five uh Page activator, click here. So you might get some merit messages because you've got to put license keys in again, right? So I've got five turned on. I go back to there and it's gone funky again, right? So as we would know, it's one of those five. So what I'd do then is go half and half again. Probably turn the last two off, right? I didn't mean to uh, do it like this, but yeah, turn, turn two of them off, leave three of them on. Go back to the site, and it's fine, right? So now, which one of the two? We turn Facebook on. We go back, because that's the one of the two that was left. We go back, go wonky. So now I'm pretty sure it's the Facebook one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deactivate Facebook and then I'm gonna turn everything else back on. I'm gonna activate everything else, right? So now, this is not how to fix that plugin, because every plugin is gonna do something funky, and you might have two plugins that are conflicting with each other, that don't work happily. Um, and I go back, and I know that's fine, right? So, that's how to quickly do it. The reason I know, I mean, that's how people had, had um would tell you how to do it anyway but the reason i do it like that is i used to fix fire alarms and what we used to do is split if we had a fault on one of the lines on a fire alarm zone you go to the middle has the fault cleared yes then it's after the half has the fault cleared no then it's, bef it's before it's before the halfway and then you go halfway again then you go halfway again until you find that that one plugin that's causing you problems then you know you can go to this plugin support page and um, and you know contact their support saying I've I've brought it down to your plugin it's causing problem on the website uh, can you fix it please right so I know it's this question mark I took out so I'm gonna put that back in and update I'm gonna go back to install plugins oh no so I'm not I'm gonna go to uh, plugins that's install plugins for that theme. Activate the plugin, go back to the site, and hopefully now 
page is happy, uh, and we're all straight. So now, if you have an issue where something's crashed on your site and you've um, you can't get onto your site at all, then you can easily turn all your plugins off. So currently, if I go here, everything's activated, right? Now if I go connect to your FTP, connect to your folder where all your, so this could be on your hosting, it could be via FTP, but you need to get to the back end um, file structure. So when you go and you know where your files are held or being um, stored, you, you log into your root, you go to WordPress content and then on the plugins, rename it. So I'm gonna rename it one dash plugins, right? That's gonna make that one dash plugins. And when I go here and refresh, it's deactivated all those plugins. So the site will break, but you'll be able to log in. Well, in fact, the site doesn't break on this because the theme's happy. Um, so that's how you do it to deactivate all your plugins. Because if one plugin is stopping you from getting onto a website, um, getting onto your website to log in, it might be the login plugins broke. That's how you turn them all off, right? So you just rename the plugins folder. Put it back to as it was. Go back to plugins. They'll all show again. They're all deactivated. And then just click and activate them. So obviously, and then, sorry, then activate maybe three at a time. See what breaks your site. And if it breaks your site again, you'll have to go back and deactivate. But you've got to get to the one that's breaking your site. So that is literally the easiest way to deactivate all if you ever get a problem. Sometimes the maintenance plugin will freeze. Go and deactivate it. Just rename, just rename the folder, and that will deactivate all the plugins on your site. Will let you get back access to it, and then you can activate them one at a time. So hopefully that's a, a you know a good little tutorial how to troubleshoot your site. It obviously there's a thousand million reasons why after that, but this is gonna this is gonna tunnel down to which plugin is causing your site problems. Uh, if if it's theme related, then you would have to go. If something if it's not plugins after that, if it's still broken, then you would need to go to appearance themes, and act and uh, activate a default theme. So you activate a default twenty fifteen theme for uh, your WordPress site, and then go and see if the fault that was there before is still there. Sometimes it's theme related. So that's how you would do that. Um, let me put my site back together. So I hope that was a quick, quick sort of um, troubleshooting info that made sense. You know, you don't have to be scared of your WordPress blog. You don't have to, you don't have to, you know, handle it with kick gloves all the time. You can, you can, um, you know, get in there as long as you've backed it up. As long as you've. Um, long as you've got your, your backup points. So I backed it up before I did anything on WordPress Engine, which is why I recommend them. And then if anything goes wrong, I just restore. Look, before site break, restore it, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Leave a comment, like, unlike. Give me a subscribe if you want some more videos like this. Let me know. If, if you haven't got a comment on this video, let me know your biggest challenge with WordPress or your website. Let me know what biggest challenge you're having and I'll try and create a video to answer your biggest challenges. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm don't. i trying to guess at what you need at the minute, but if you leave comments telling me what you need, then I'm more than happy to, to create videos to um, to get you going. You know, because everybody, your website's your front end of your business, if you're an online business, certainly, and for other businesses too, and you want it working, and you want it good all the time, don't you? So have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Cheers.